So right now I am joined with Heather Miranda of the city's environmental services division and we are starting a three-part series uh, focusing on issues of water in the Santa Clarita Valley. Uh, Heather, we're standing in front of a storm drain. Can you start us on uh, issues that residents and businesses should know about storm drains? Well, the first thing to know is that a storm drain is designed to bring water quickly from streets to the Santa Clara River to prevent flooding. That's their only job. The problem is, is that when we litter, when we don't pick up after our pets, when we have carpet cleaners who don't pick up and recycle their water or de auto detailers, uh, anything that is going into the street on our sidewalks and our driveways, all that will end up in the storm drain system, be picked up with water from overwatering lawns or from rain, and it will go directly to the Santa Clara River, which is 50% of our drinking water supply. And that's a big problem because dog waste contaminates the drinking water, all the chemicals from carpet cleaning, all the chemicals from anything that we do in our day-to-day -day lives is not something really that you want to drink. And it's also bad for the habitat, it's bad for the animals down there, and it's bad for people who recreate near the river because if you touch that water, you can get sick. And, you know, you mentioned littering and you mentioned uh, animal waste. Uh, car washing, washing your car in your driveway is also a big issue. Mm -hmm. That's right. Anything that you do outside that goes onto a paved surface, whether it be your driveway, a sidewalk, or a street, all of those areas are oriented towards the storm drains to make sure that those areas don't flood in a rain event. And unfortunately, all the water picks up all those pollutants and moves it to the storm drains. So you need to do things like be cautious of your outdoor water use. So not overwatering your lawn, for example, is a really good way to make sure that not only you save water and not waste water, but also prevent urban runoff. Because if you apply chemicals to your grass, fertilizers or pesticides or anything like that and you overwater your lawn that chemical is now entering the storm drain system same thing with the litter and same thing with the dog waste you have to be conscientious of everything you do outside right. it doesn't just go away right. so really it's an educational thing of letting people know that what what they do leave behind will ultimately contaminate something um, so for people that wash their cars, I know that, you know, for a long time, environmentally speaking, we urge them to go to car washing businesses because they use reclamated water and they recycle. Um, is that the only option for them? Is there another way to wash your car safely? Many auto, de like professional auto detailers, the mobile ones, some of the more responsible ones have invested in water recycling or they have uh, vacuums that will clean up the water so that it doesn't run off into the storm drain system. Um, same thing with carpet cleaners. Um, there's a lot of companies out there who have actually been conscientious and bought these products that recycle the water and capture it, and then they can take it to an actual sewer, which goes to the treatment plant that actually does get treated. This really is a big issue for the city. We have a whole division that deals with this. It's very important. Um, and, it, and it's also a regulatory thing where we're going to have to start being in the river and actually monitoring at our outfalls at, at those areas. And so we're going to have to know a lot more detail about the quality of the water coming out of our storm drains. And so it's becoming even more important for us to, as a city and as a community, really understand and be respectful of that storm drain and really consider that as part of the river and not just a place where things go away. <laughs> Right, and besides being sort of unneighborly and, and you know, unsanitary and, and polluting, um, it's also illegal. That's right. Uh, you can get tickets. We do have ordinances on the books, and the county also has ordinances on the books. It is not legal to dump anything in the storm drain. The storm drain is only for flood control. It's only for rain to prevent people's houses and businesses and roads from flooding. If you are dumping anything else in there, you know, we find out about it, you can get fined, you can get tickets. There's all sorts of things that we would prefer not to do, but there it is. That's what we have to do in order to protect the river. Okay. Heather, I want to thank you for joining us for this part one series on focusing on water issues in Santa Clarita Valley. Um, next, we're going to focus on the storm drains themselves, and we're actually going to see uh, how they get cleaned. And then later on, we are going to go into the Santa Clara River and see where everything ends up.